I am going to make today mackerel al pastor with a pineapple salsa. It's one of the most famous street food snacks in Mexico. From the Lebanese who arrived maybe, what, 50 years ago? Yes. In the 30s or 40s. And they started adapting the recipes with Mexican ingredients. So I'm using um, an ingredient called achiote, which is from the anato seed, which is a tree that is around in the Yucatan region. So I've just got this little marinade. It's basically the achiote paste, which I've just mixed with some oil and a little bit of garlic. And I am going to use my mackerel now. Mackerel's lovely fish cheese right now. It's in the height of its season and I'm just going to work this paste into the fish on both sides and what we're going to do is we're just going to leave this to marinate for about half an hour. So there we are. That will go in the fridge. So Margarita, I'm going to do um, a pineapple salsa. Okay. Maybe you could... Yeah, sure. Can you cut the pineapple for yeah. me? Now for me at this time of year, in the middle of winter in Britain, pineapples sometimes lack flavour. So I'm going to help this pineapple along a bit. So here I have some pineapple juice. I've got about 200 mils. I'm going to add a cinnamon stick, which will give a lovely gentle flavour, much nicer flavour than the powder for this type of thing. And two star anise. So in they go, and I'm going to add a tablespoon of sugar. We're going to reduce this syrup down so that we've just got a bit of coating to put on the fresh pineapple and then we're going to sharpen it all up with fresh lime. Of course any salsa needs a bit of chilli so I'm going to chop some red chilli here. Now um, there's a good knack about chilli, about knowing how hot it is. I always just eat a bit of the little tip, I'll just touch it to my tongue. Now that's quite hot actually so I'm not going to use too much of it. I'm going to take out the seeds. In Mexico, the sun always shines. This is why the pineapples are quite so sweet. And really, the pineapples, how long is the season? For, all year round. All year round. All year round. All year round. I've got my diced pineapple. I'm yes. going to add my chili to it. I've got some red onion that I chopped okay. earlier. Perfect. And then we need a bit of citrus sharpness here. I'm going to put some salt in and my black pepper. Um, you want me to chop? Yeah, that'd sure. be lovely. Just you a little tell bit. me how much. Just a little bit would be lovely. Like this? Um, that's lovely. You use, um, uh, as we do in Mexico, the whole thing. Yes, I do, exactly. Um, and in fact, some, if I can get the root, I love to. Me too. The root too. Me too. So if you see now, this pineapple is not very juicy. It kind of lacks its own juice, which is why we're going to help it along a bit with this syrup. And it smells really delicious. Mm. Mm. It smells <laughs> so good. Look at that coriander. Mm. Does it need more chilli? It's fine. I would add more. <laughs> would you? Brilliant. Yes. Let's add more chilli. I love it. There okay. we are. Because this is why one of the misconceptions I find about Mexican food is everyone expects all Mexican food to be hot, but actually it's the salsas that yes. contain the heat. And this is the way to take out the heat in a chilli, to take the placenta off, not only the seeds. In Mexico, we don't take off the heat. You like the heat. Oh, yes. Yeah. A, a food without chilli is like a day without sun. <laughs> I think when I first went to Mexico, I couldn't work out which chili to use with what dish. That's what confused me the most. Yes, yes. Yeah. Because we don't use the chili only for heat. No, flavor. But for flavor, mainly for flavor. I've got some lovely color on that skin. So here's my rice that I made mm -hmm. earlier. Um, and here we have the mackerel and then lovely salsa and I'm gonna do a sprig of coriander. Beautiful. Just mm. like that. Let me see. Mm. The flavor of the mackerel. Mm. The mackerel in this country is a really delicious flavor. Mm.